Hello and welcome to the Fast Reports Academy. Today I am happy to give you a first look of our new product, fastreportbusinessgraphics.net. It is a library for advanced data visualization, which can be used independently in a Windows Forms-based project, or you can embed business graphics into other Fast Reports products, like fastreport.net and fastcube.net. And before we start, be aware that some of the things I will show in this video can significantly change. So let's begin. Fast Report Business Graphics supports several chart types, and today we will take a look at the Gantt diagram. It is a chart that illustrates a schedule, or in general, records about a group of events that happen over a period of time. So in our case, we have an example of a diploma writing schedule. I will show a couple of other datasets later in the video. Let's go through the interface. Firstly, hovering over a record will show a tooltip with the record duration. Double-clicking a record will allow you to edit it. At the moment, a record has a name, a start date, an end date and a resource. You can think of it as a category. So you can manually tweak the record parameters in this menu. You can rename it, change the start and end dates, and you can add a new resource, which this record will be assigned to. As you can see, the record color has changed. This is because we switched the resource. The record's color depends on the resource's index. Now let's proceed to the chart settings. You need to right-click and choose properties. And first of all, let's look at the data tab. There is a preview of all of the data in the chart. All of the resources have been numbered sequentially, but we can change that. Also, in this menu you can enable the text near the records and how wide the record title column can be. Next, the palette settings. To demonstrate them, let's move to the next dataset. So, you can choose a palette out of a list of existing palettes or set up your own. And, if there's not enough colors for all of the resources, a color similar to one in a palette will be generated. You can also set up the styles for the text, the hover style and the select style. Next, the header tab. Here you can set up how the header will look. You can set up the header height, set up the segmentation, and show or hide the grids. Also, you can set up the scale of the chart. And to examine it better, let's look at the next dataset. This one depicts a New Year's date schedule. It demonstrates that records that last several minutes can also be displayed. We can switch the scale to month, and the data will be barely visible. But this gives us an idea on how the scale changing works. Now let's take a peek behind the curtain. We've been using a demonstrational program created to show the Gantt diagram, and it also shows us how you can connect data to it. And these two methods get the data from file databases. Records have a name, start date, end date, and resource fields. Here is the XML file that's been used. You can see there are columns named text, start date and end date. They correlate to the record properties. And also the text field is being used as the resource field. There is an example of filling the chart with data value by value. And let's see how we can load the data manually. There's a tab in the demo that allows us to load custom data in runtime. So let's enter the field names first and load the file after that. You can see that the resulting chart is the same one that we have in another tab, and that means data loading was successful. We can also do the same with the other included example after tweaking the field names. This was it for today's video about Fast Report Business Graphics. If you have any questions or suggestions, leave them in the comments. And be sure to check out other videos on the channel. We have more videos about FastReport and FastCube.net, and links to the playlists are in the description.